really excited about this trick. So this is an easy trick that anyone can do, but it looks really cool. Personally, I think this looks cooler than doing a no comply or something like that. So I learned this trick from a really cool guy that I watch on Instagram. His Instagram is gosh darn it. And he does these all the time and they look really good and really stylish. You have to have a little bit of style in your skating to be able to pull this one off and make it look good. So first off, you need to know how to pivot off the front of your board. So when you're first learning this, you wanna have your front foot at an angle and kind of barely on the nose, a little bit above the front bolts. You just wanna roll, have your back foot kind of over the back bolts or a little bit on the tail, and then you just lift up with your nose and pivot. So to pivot your lower body, your shoulders have to turn first. So as you're doing this, you're turning your shoulders the way you wanna go, and then your hips and your feet and everything follow. So all I'm doing is putting my front foot at an angle almost onto the nose where I can still see this one front bolt behind my foot. Practice your tic tacs, get really good at tic tacking. Like I said in the last video, I was teaching somebody to skate at the skate park the other day and just watching them learn to tic tac really inspired me to try to skate and do more tricks like this on flat ground. So you could try doing something like this, walking it across the park. All right, so after you have those down, Try moving your front foot back just a little bit. So when I'm actually doing these, I've got that one bolt showing right here on the side of my foot. Because if I'm taking my back foot totally off, my front foot's all the way up on the nose, the nose is just gonna hit the ground because all my weight's gonna be up there. And that's the worst case scenario here is if you touch your nose to the ground. So. That's why I've got my weight right back here with that one bolt showing. It would be good to know how to do a front side power slide because you're kind of doing a bit of a power slide. It's good to have a power slide because you're not really lifting your back wheels up, you're sliding them. And your front foot is doing all the work. So it's good to have a strong front foot. Uh, you could possibly do exercises like this to strengthen those muscles that turn your foot this way and that way. I couldn't do this with my back foot right now because I actually have a rolled ankle in the back and that really hurts to do with the back foot. Actually, this is a good exercise for me to actually be working on to strengthen my ankle so it's not sprained anymore. I'm actually gonna start doing this every day because that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to strengthen my ankle going that way and this way. I've been working on coming up with some exercises and some inventions to help strengthen my ankle. So this is gonna be one to add because that definitely hurts on my back ankle. So when you're first doing this, just barely lift your back foot up. Just kind of hover it so that if you do mess up and your nose starts to dip, you can just put it back on, even it out and roll away. Start out just barely lifting it like an inch and then higher and higher until you're just kicking it off. I'm still kind of working on that to get to that level. Watch this guy do them. He does these so smooth with so much style. That's what I'm trying to learn here, style. You know, it's not the most technical trick, but it's a trick that requires some level of style. Me and him are supposed to do a photo shoot soon in Cincinnati. So maybe I'll get him to teach me five tricks when we actually skate together. But until then, I might do a series of just learning some of this guy's tricks or maybe some other like trendy tricks on Instagram. If there's a certain skater or a certain trick you want me to learn and try to teach on YouTube, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, then hit that subscribe button, scroll through my page, check out my other videos, and thanks for watching. Thank you.